Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Artifacts from KRS Numerical Audio, which is a fantastic um, effect processor, lo fi processor, but also much more than that because it can be used as a effect generators as a sound generator and indeed I will create also a video to show you how you can do that through MIDI modulation. Before I continue I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally if you would like to participate to the giveaway please do follow the instruction on the video description and please do remember to check if you want your code because I will uh, distribute the code quite quickly. Okay, so we are inside the UM, as you can see, I have instantiated artifacts as an insert uh, effect. I have an audio channel with um, which has a, a Bliss Alpha here and I have a selected uh, gold key so that uh, we have a synth producing sound. Then I have a Polybud here, a nice, uh, fantastic, again, Bud Gem from Gem OK. And this one is used to generate a simple melody, which sounds like this. Okay, nice and simple. So in terms of interface, um, it's quite straightforward. So at the top, you have selection for a browsing preset here. You can edit, import, and you can see straight away you have um, a selection, of course, of an any preset, which is really nice because you don't have that in many effects, or indeed synth as well. You have the a category for effect processes, but then if you scroll down, you also have a category for effect generators, okay, which um, I will show you in a minute in a moment what it means. Now you click on browse again to exit and then you can use here the arrow to move between presets. You can write of course and then you can use CC to assign a CC number so you can do MIDI mapping, you can learn and save of course. And here is quite nice, you have a, a help on uh, directly inside the app. So for example, if you don't remember how this control works, you can see here it says type and it gives you the help. And if it is a position A, it will be preamp position B, power amp position C, which is down here, C solid state, okay? Um, and of course you click on the question mark to deactivate that. So one of the great things of artifacts is that um, you have a section on the input which you and a section on the output. Both can be used to control actually a high pass filter and also a low pass filter here. So just as an example. act uh, on the input and also on the output in terms of uh, filtering which is great you can adjust uh, your overall uh, um, level here with pick but you can adjust also the input level here as well which uh, is really really useful additionally here you can adjust again your overall uh, uh, your output level and then you have an adjustment here for dry and wet. At the moment, I set it to 100% wet, so you can hear better how Artifacts works. And then you have this big um, three, uh, four sections, yeah, or three section, I should say. First one on, is on uh, noise. Then you have this big section in the middle, which where you have drive and digital. And then on the right-hand side, you have uh, tape effects. And underneath here, you have something called liveliness. And uh, this is a cool characteristic of uh, artifacts because as you change the slider, you introduce randomness on this part of the effect, which again is great. It's quite unique compared to other effect processor out there. So let's go through a little bit how, how it works. So here you have a noise section. So if you increase, You hear noise, which you can adjust the color here as well. Then here you have electrical noise. And of course humming. And here you can add some crackling as well. 
And then, of course, you can use this dock functionality here so that you can lower the noise effect when you have input coming in. Okay, and here you set the threshold. And as I mentioned here, underneath here, you have uh, a control to add randomness on the noise section. So let's try a little bit. One thing that you notice straight away is that um, even when you don't have input signal coming in, if you have your uh, noise on, it will continue. And of course, if you adjust the color in this case, you can change the tone. Which means, of course, that you could use uh, this section, for example, as a synth. So you don't need really an input, and then you can use a MIDI modulator to act on the color here, and then you can uh, make some nice, uh, interesting tuning or tunes. So. <laughs> So hopefully you could hear some variability which was added here with the liveness control. Okay, moving forward here you have this drive which you can use to control your gain here. As we saw earlier, you have three types here which you can use, like preamp, power amp, and solid state. And here you can adjust the uh, tone. Okay, so let's try a bit. And that is the um, drive part of the effects. Then you have digital here. You can adjust your uh, sample rate. You can introduce scratching and uh, you can here reduce uh, your uh, uh, bit depth or definition. <laughs> Okay, so that is uh, how that part of the effect works. And then here we have tape. You can adjust, of course, your stereo setting here. You have wow, flutter, dropout, and which in two position where and bias. And then you can adjust the rate both of wow and flutter here and, uh, and add, of course, randomness. <laughs> Thank you. 
then as I mentioned here, you have a selection of preset, which is uh, quite, quite nice. So you can hear the effect generators, which will produce generate sound without even um, an input signal. And of course, on the top here, you have effect processes. So a lot of choices, it's quite a well done and well constructed uh, effect, it looks actually quite good in terms of UI and the controls, it looks really nice, so great job from Kai RS and Artifacts, please check it out. Okay, see you next time, bye.